How can you make your own game assets so you are finally able to build the game world you have always wanted to create? Well, the game asset creation workflow consists of the following steps. 3D modeling the shape of an asset. Unwrapping the three-dimensional shape into a two-dimensional UV map. Painting a texture on the surface of the 3D model and creating LOD versions of the model to optimize it for a game. There is a link in the description for my online course that teaches you these skills more in depth. But for this tutorial, let's get to know the first step by 3D modeling this low poly mushroom. Let's start by adding a new cylinder with Shift A. By default, the cylinder is not low poly. To simplify its geometry, open the Add Cylinder menu in the lower left corner of the 3D viewport window. Change the number of vertices in the cylinder to 8, for example. Now you have a low poly cylinder. You see in the upper left corner of the 3D viewport window that you are currently in object mode. To edit the geometry of the cylinder, you must enter Edit Mode with Tab. Let's start by shaping the cylinder to resemble the cap of a mushroom. Make sure you have selected the entire cylinder by pressing A. Scale the cylinder smaller with S. To determine the size of it, move your mouse and confirm the action with the left mouse button. Next, add four loop cuts to the cylinder. Hover your mouse over it and press Ctrl R. Scroll the mouse wheel until you see four yellow circles in the cylinder. You can also use the page up and page down keys to change the number of loop cuts. Click the left mouse button to confirm the action. After that, you can slide them on the surface of the cylinder. Click the right mouse button to cancel this action so that they stay at their default position. Now select the entire cylinder with A. Scale it on the C axis by pressing S, C. Make the cylinder flat by moving your mouse. Confirm the action with the left mouse button. Let's make the top of the cylinder pointy. Press 3 to enter face mode. Select the face on top of the cylinder. Press the keyboard shortcut M and select the Add Center option. This is how you can merge the selected vertices into one. Let's make the cap rounder. Go to the side view by pressing numpad 3. If your keyboard doesn't have a numpad, you can switch to the side view by clicking on the gadget's x-axis. Now enter vertice mode by pressing 1. Select the lowest loop cut by hovering your mouse over it and holding down Alt while selecting it with the left mouse button. Scale it smaller with S. Leave the loop cut above untouched and select the one in the middle. Hold down Alt while selecting the loop cut with the left mouse button. Scale it down with S. Select the loop cut above this one and scale it smaller with S. Do the same for the uppermost loop cut as well. The top of the cap is too sharp at the moment. Select the top vertice and bring it down slightly with G, C. The cap could be a little thicker. Select the entire object with A and scale it on the C axis with S, C. To exit the side view, hold down the middle mouse button while moving your mouse. Let's now add the stalk, that is, the leg of the mushroom. Press 3 to enter face mode. Select the face under the cap. Insert a new face inside the selected face with I. Move your mouse to determine the size of the new face. Confirm the action with the left mouse button. Return to the side view either by pressing numpad 3 or the X axis of the gadget. Press G, C to move the selected face down a bit. Now extrude new geometry from the selected face with E. The new geometry automatically moves on the right axis, so move your mouse down and confirm the action with the left mouse button. 
Now press S to scale the selected face slightly larger. Extrude new geometry again with E. Move your mouse and confirm the action with the left mouse button. Scale the face smaller with S. Once again extrude new geometry with E. Move your mouse down and confirm the action. Scale the selected face smaller with S to make the bottom of the stalk round. The 3D model of the mushroom is now complete. Press tab to enter object mode. Currently you can see the edges of the mushroom because it uses flat shading. Click the right mouse button to open a menu. Select shade smooth to change the shading style to smooth. If you want to learn more, check out my game asset creation course by clicking the link below.